All right, for this week's edition of my power rankings over on the Big Ten, still have Ohio State number one. They have not looked as impressive the last two weeks as they have prior. However, Dwayne Haskins continues to put up huge numbers, over 400 yards through the air again, three touchdowns. K.J. Hill having a big day for them. Michigan, the biggest win the weekend as far as status among the nation. They jump up in the rankings in the AP poll. They go up to number two. Still up there on top of my power rankings with Penn State's loss. They go from three to two. Uh, Penn State, I was there for that game. Called it with Kevin Kugler and Michigan State. You have to give them credit. Mark D'Antonio gets the most Mark D'Antonio style win when no one believes in him. They have the six different shuffling of the offensive line. No LJ Scott, no Cody White, no Jalen Naylor, no Daryl Stewart. I could go on and on. You have injuries to that receiving core still and you come back and win that football game in Happy Valley. It has to feel like deja vu for Penn State fans. And then Iowa jumps into my top five as well. They have been playing lights out. I think Nate Stanley is starting to get into a rhythm. We saw him in flashes last year. He's starting to really come along. There's two teams in the middle of the pack in Northwestern and Purdue that are playing really good football and both have to do with their quarterbacks. Northwestern knows they're not going to be able to run the football. It doesn't matter. Clayton Thorson has been on fire. And then David Blau, ever since Elijah Sindelar took the injury, he's been the full-time starter. His stats have been off the charts. They are rolling and they obviously have a big matchup in West Lafayette against Ohio State on Saturday night.